cataract surgery, astigmatism, and use of glasses with a toric lenses. What is important for you to understand in terms of use of glasses about astigmatism correction in order to be not surprised by the unexpected visual outcomes after the surgery and be happy after your lens replacement surgery with the visual outcomes if everything done perfectly. Hi there. My name is Alexey at your eyewell advisor I surgery explained channel. I have realized that many patients have a big misconception in terms of cataract surgery with astigmatism correction, toric lenses use, and use of glasses after the surgery. So let me explain a bit story of toric lenses about astigmatism correction and why this misconception appeared on the market on um, let's say in patient education and what you should know to be absolutely free of this misconception to understand your vision options and to get the maximum vision outcomes after the surgery let's start with the story of intra core lenses and maybe let's start with eye anatomy a very short reminder of eye anatomy we have eyeball which has two optical lenses the cornea and the crystal lens which are designed to focus all the incoming light rays to the retina and what is important to know is that our eye is designed by nature in that way that it's designed to see clearly at the far distance at infinity when we see to the far objects but during the lifetime we use our vision at different distances we are reading we're doing something at different 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 distances from our eyes by using our hands and our eye shall uh, provide us with a crystal clear vision at different distances. And for that reason, we have accommodation mechanism, which is built inside of our eye and the second lens, the natural lens, it's constantly changing in shape, adapting to different uh, distances from your eye. Because as I mentioned, the young healthy eye is designed to see clearly at infinity, but up close to see clearly. We need to adjust the optical power of entire uh, eyeball. And I'm talking about the young healthy eye for patients who are never used the glasses for far vision or for, let's say, permanent use to have a clear vision at different distances. Glasses or contact lenses doesn't matter. And what is important to keep in mind that these ch constant changes of optical power of the eye is not able to be with us entire, during the entire lifetime. It works well up to about 40s and then it starts to degrade and you feel the needs of using the reading glasses. It's one important point to keep in mind. So eye accommodation. And if it comes to the intraocular lenses and eye surgery, and uh, if we're talking about modern intraocular lenses, even the best commercially available intraocular lenses are not able to restore this natural accommodation mechanism. And that's why nowadays we use so-called pseudo-accommodating lenses, which are called premium lenses or multifocal lenses, etc to you correct and to give you such a such an spectacle freedom at different distances out of your eye if you're not aware about all this type of lenses i encourage you to use my website iwilladvisor.com i will put a link to the description below when you can read about different eye models when you can understand how uh, eye accommodation work and how it might be changed after your cataract surgery or your refractive lens exchange and what is more important i have a dedicated uh, eye selection tool which will help you absolutely free and automatically to let's say define a direction which type of eye oil will suit to the best to your particular visual needs your visual outcomes after the surgery is very much dependent on type of intracore lens you put inside of your eye in terms of far vision acuity intermediate and near visual acuity let me offer you a good option where to know all the details about the intracore lenses i recently launched my proprietary trained artificial intelligence assistant which will guide you through all the lenses uh, from the let's say basic eye oil type selection based on your answers or you can ask him or her whatever you prefer so you can ask whatever questions you want to know about the different eye oils feel free to talk, talk to that model directly you have access for three months you can ask your questions today you can ask your questions later you can recover in your memory something else you can discuss with your student you will need some clarification it's everything will be able to discuss with the model if you will have any doubts any questions model will provide you with my email and uh, my personal consultation page so just for one single fee you'll get the full access to the full knowledge base for three months my website will help you to define the direction 
where which you will discuss further with your doctor to understand your particular visual options to to understand if there are any limitations in terms of technology versus your eye current eye condition so uh, this tool will help you to select the lens and to simplify your discussion with your surgeon because at the end of the day you are uh, and your surgeon together will have to define the lens model and your surgeon finally decides what type of lenses medically available and medically suitable for your particular eye. Well, coming back to the lenses, we are implanting any type of lens, but any type of lens doesn't have accommodation. And as I mentioned, we have to select the lens if you would like to be spectacle free, which has a pseudo accommodation. But it is nowadays. What, what was the history of intraocular lenses? 30 or 40 years ago, we had only one type of lenses, monofocal lenses, which were able to restore the vision at the infinity, but was not able to give you depth of field, was not able to give you accommodation, and was not able to give you reading ability. For that reason, you should use glasses to read, but when you put the glasses on to read, you lose ability to see clearly far. When you remove glasses, you clearly far. And you lose ability to read at the time. Honestly, I have a video explaining it in more details. Here is the link for you and again in the description below. So let's skip it for the moment. Then the second type of lenses, which was invented later, was a toric lenses to correct astigmatism. And that type of lenses was uh, same monofocal lenses, but with component to compensate your corneal curvature. But as you might notice right now, we had a monofocal lens, which is just restoring one single focal distance, either far or near. And the second type was a monofocal toric lens. And for years, it was only two types of lenses available. Then we started to discover multifocal lenses to give you spectacle freedom. And only then we started to have, uh, started to produce in the industry a different type of lenses. I mentioned four types of lenses like monofocal, enhanced monofocal, extended range of vision and full range of vision lenses. And now we have all four types of lenses having the toric component. And what misconception I'm talking about? I realized that many patients comparing the monofocal lens with monofocal toric lens are expecting for whatever reason that monofocal toric lens will elongate, will give them this pseudo accommodation to have better visual independence without glasses. Why it is happening? Because at the beginning of era of intracore lenses, if the patient was, let's say, emetropic, doesn't have any problems with his eye, just um, cataract. We remove the cataract, put the intraocular uh, lens, and the patient is spectacle free, glasses free for far vision and using glasses for reading. It's a, let's say, normal case scenario. Patient with astigmatism after cataract with a standard lens would need two pair of glasses, one for far just to correct astigmatism and second one for near just to correct reading and astigmatism. And when toric lenses was, in, was invented, what surgeon will say to you? Well, with a standard spherical monofocal lens and astigmatism, you will need two pair of glasses. With toric lens, you have more glasses freedom because for far vision you wouldn't need a glasses. But of course you will need reading glasses to read because monofocal lens is not providing you. And this general idea still alive. And it's absolutely true because even nowadays if you put monofocal lens and you have astigmatism for the best visual outcomes, you will need vision glasses for far and glasses for near to read. But this misconception some transferred somehow to extended range of vision or enhanced monofocal or full range of vision lenses, which called presbyopia correcting lenses, which are intended by design to compensate your lack of accommodation. And honestly, that type of lenses are able to give you spectacle freedom, but only if, if it is kind of advanced optical lenses. To make things clear, if you are talking about monofocal lens or monofocal toric lens, these both lenses are not giving you more depth of field. They're just giving you good far vision or good near vision if these lenses are calculated for near vision. And if you would like to have more depth of field from your eye, like an intermediate distance about or like for 
near vision or for full range from near to intermediate and to far, you will need either standard presbyopia correcting lens or presbyopia mitigating lens, which is designed to give you depth of field. And if you have astigmatism in this case, you will need toric type of full range, extended range or enhanced monofocal lenses, which will correct astigmatism and give you better spectacle freedom. So please separate these two type of lenses, standard monofocal and standard monofocal with toric component, which simply corrects your astigmatism, but is not giving you depth of field. And other type of lenses, which gives you certain depths of field in your intermediate and near range to, uh, to be free of glasses. It should be, it might, it might be either standard or with toric component.